Oh, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. I'll be your host for the evening. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, you know I did a review of the Citizen Bryson a few years back and then promptly gave it to my son for a gift. Well, we're doing that again. We're doing another Citizen, another Echo Drive, another Bryson. This time in Star Wars Regalia, it is not a limited edition. The first one they ever did was one of 1,977, the same year, 1977, that Star Wars came out, quickly sold out. You can't really find them. If you do, they're over $1,000. So he wants one, I want one. So far, we've had no luck finding one uh, within the stratosphere of reasonable prices. Uh, and they've done replacement Bryson uh, Luke Skywalkers over the years, and none have really spoke to either one of us till now. I don't know that he's seen this one. I have seen it. It's awesome. I'm going to pick one up for myself. But today, we're going to unbox and get a first look at the new Citizen Bryson Luke Skywalker uh, light size Star Wars commemorative wristwatch. And then I'm going to give it to my son and promptly order another one. So let's flip the camera around and dig into this box. All right, guys, wasting no time digging right into the Star Wars Citizen outer box. Light side on one side, you have your model number, and then you have the dark side on the other. So I'm assuming they use this outer box for all of their Star Wars products. This is the Citizen Star Wars Rebel Pilot, as it's officially called. The CA 0761-06W is the official model number for this one. It is not limited. As I said before, they did a Luke Skywalker Rebel Pilot previously that was limited to 1,977 pieces. This one, they've just, just shortened the name to Rebel Pilot. As you see, may the force be with you on the bottom of this case. Star Wars and Citizen on the top. Uh, so now they're just calling it the Rebel Pilot. But you can see right away, it has a lot of uh, Rebel Alliance and Luke Skywalker callouts in that dial. And we're gonna dig into that dial in more detail as well as the watch. You see the hang tag denoting the uh, CA0761-06W model number. And then um, if we get it out of this case, we're taking a closer look, you can see that uh, you have this orange um, rally strap that is supposed to sort of harken back or be a call out to the uh, Rebel Alliance flight uniforms that were orange leather. So that's pretty cool. And uh, of course, you have your flight helmet at nine. But taking this thing outside so we can get a better look at the bright colors, you have your uh, Rebel Alliance emblem at 12. You have the X-Wing fighter in its attack foil position at six. And then you have your Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet at nine. Uh, no embossing or labeling on the pushers or the crown. Uh, smooth crown, smooth pushers. Uh, taking one more look here, you can see that is the CA0761. Dash 06W from Citizen. No Rebel Pilot call out, but on their website, they are calling this just the Rebel Pilot. No longer is it the Luke Skywalker Rebel Pilot. And you can get a much better look at that orange strap out in the sunlight. Um, may the force be with you on the screw down case back. It is a screw down case back to access the B612 Echo Drive movement, but this is a movement that is powered by any light source. So, barring being a vampire, you're going to have a watch that's going to stay charged for quite a while. And you can see it's a high beat movement and allows for a fairly 
smooth sweep of that large center second hand. That large center second hand and hour and minute hand are made to look like Star Wars lightsabers, although I would say the large center second looks like a, like a Star Wars lightsaber. The hour and minute hand look much more like the dark saber from the uh, Clone Wars animated series and then more recently the Mandalorian series, uh, but still hearkening back to Star Wars and uh, that Star Wars franchise. So we're still staying faithful to that. This is a watch that features a 24-hour time. You have the outer minute track on the edge of your dial. You have six hands set up, one for your uh, large chronograph hand, your hour, your minute, and your three subdials. As we spin the uh, crown, to set the date. Date setting is very quick. Time set is a little slower, but still very accurate, still very simple to set up. The date is at three o'clock, uh, recessed down in that little window there. It is a little difficult to see, but I'm not big on date anyway. Pushing the pushers, start, stop, top pusher, reset, bottom pusher, like most chronographs. Um, it is a chronograph function, obviously. Uh, luminous hands and markers, and we'll look at that loom in a minute. Uh, one of the things I love about this watch is the loom and what exactly is illuminated, which is going to be really cool. I think you'll enjoy. Uh, that bezel, that tachometer scale bezel is a steel bezel, so it will weather and fade over time like steel bezels do. And I think being a Star Wars watch, that works because the machinery, the uniforms, they were all a little beat up. So having this watch be a watch that can be weathered in the future, I think that's a great option. It's a one-fifth second chronograph that measures up to 60 minutes before it resets itself. Um, you do have a 44 millimeter case th uh, size and on my six and three-quarter wrist it is quite large with that 22 millimeter lug width. You're going to find plenty of straps but if you're under a six and a half inch wrist, I would say this lug to lug is going to be a little long. I didn't measure the lug to lug, but you can see on my six and three quarters wrist as I rotate back around that it, it is pretty much maximal for my wrist size. I think, I think if I had any smaller of a wrist, they would, um, protrude over the edge of it. So that's something to take into account. It is a 316L stainless steel case, um, crown and pushers. Again, I said it was the echo drive, which means you're never going to have to charge it. Light will charge it as well as charge the loom, which is freaking fantastic. This is my favorite part of this whole watch. They illuminated the hands. They illuminated the numerals so it's easy to read. But then they went ahead and illuminated the attack foil position X-Wing fighter at six o'clock. Just amazing. Uh, and one of the coolest features, I think, on the whole watch. Uh, this is a 100 meter water resistant watch, a 10 bar or 333 feet. Citizen claims it's good for swimming, showering, or snorkeling. I'll let you be the judge of that. And I would also like you to be the judge of this watch. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, and let me know what you'd like to see next, guys. Uh, if you're a big Star Wars fan, let me know the first Star Wars movie you saw in the comments below. I'd love to know. But until next time, guys, peace.